Hello, I'm Beth Wagner, physical therapist. This video is all about Morton's Neuroma and what you can do to get rid of the pain in the ball of your foot. First, I'll talk a little bit about what Morton's Neuroma is, ways to manage it, and then I'm going to show you some exercises. So first, Morton's Neuroma refers to an area of thickened tissues around the nerves in the ball of the foot, typically between the third and fourth toes. There are many different potential causes of Morton's neuroma. One of the most common is standing or walking on hard surfaces, barefoot, or in a shoe that doesn't have enough arch support. First of all, while the Morton's neuroma is healing, footwear is very important. When you're walking around your house, I recommend using a slipper or a soft, lightweight slip-on shoe that has a decent amount of arch support. Make sure it's wide enough so that it's not squeezing the ball of your foot and it offers ample room for your toes to wiggle. You might also consider wearing an additional over-the-counter or custom orthotic in your footwear at home and for outdoor walking. Now next, many people ask if they should be applying ice or heat for an Morton's Neuroma. Now typically, ice is the best option to decrease inflammation, which is common with Morton's Neuroma. However, nerve tissue in particular typically doesn't do well with ice, and heat is a much better option for decreasing irritation and pain that's caused by compressed nerves. So most of the time, applying heat is better than ice for a Morton's Neuroma. The best option for applying heat with Morton's Neuroma is a warm water bath. Okay, now we'll move into the exercises. I'll start with a couple stretching exercises and then we'll move into strengthening. The first one is a plantar fascia stretch. Sitting comfortably with your knee and your ankle bent, lift your toes up towards your knee. And then using one hand or both hands, bend your toes up in the air. You should feel a nice stretch through the bottom of your foot here. Continue breathing naturally. Hold for 10 seconds and then release. Shake it out a little bit and repeat. Bend your toes up towards your knee, using your hands to apply over pressure, bending those toes up as much as you can. Continue breathing naturally and hold for 10 seconds. Gently try to pull your toes back a little bit farther. After 10 seconds, Release, shake it out, wiggle your toes a little bit, and repeat four times. The next one is a towel stretch. Fold a hand towel in half lengthwise. You can also use a, a yoga strap, a longer towel, a rope, anything like that. So you want a long, thin uh, stretching tool. Now for this stretch, we want the leg straight. So I'll turn sideways on the table here so you can see. You could do this on your bed or on the floor, anywhere where you're able to keep your leg straight. Wrap the towel or strap around the end of your foot, right around the ball of your foot and your toes. And now straighten your knee and gently pull back on the towel. You should feel a stretch through the bottom of your foot, through the heel and in the calf. Hold for 10 seconds, continue breathing naturally. And then release. And shake your ankle out, wiggle your toes a little bit, and repeat. Bring the towel around the ball of your foot and your toes, straighten the leg, and pull back. Continue to breathe, and hold the stretch for 10 seconds. Make sure you're maintaining good posture. After 10 seconds, go ahead, release, and shake that out. Next, we'll do a calf stretch using a folded towel. So taking a hand towel, fold it up. So, you've, so the towel is a few inches thick. Then place that on the ground. Now put the foot that you want to stretch on the edge of the towel so that the toes and the ball of your foot are on the towel and your heel is firmly planted on the ground. Now step forward with your other foot so that your foot is even with the towel. Now look down at your feet and make sure that your toes are pointed forward, that they're not turned out to the side like this, but your toes are in line with your heels and both feet are pointed forward. 
Now, if this position gives you a stretch in the back of the right leg, the back of the right calf, then fantastic. Just go ahead and hold this stretch. Hold for 10 seconds and then step out of the stretch. Shake your foot and go back into it again. Now, if you don't quite feel a stretch in this position, step forward with your other foot in front of the towel and then lean forward into a lunge position. Continue stepping your foot forward and lunging until you feel a medium intensity stretch in the right calf. Again, look down at your toes. Make sure your toes are still pointed forward, that they haven't migrated out to the side. Make sure that you're not holding your breath. Continue to exhale and inhale naturally. Hold for 10 seconds and then step your foot back. Shake out the foot you've been stretching and repeat. Toes and ball of your foot on the towel, heel on the ground. Step forward and lunge until you feel a stretch in the calf. And you might also feel a stretch in the bottom of your foot. That's great too. Hold for 10 seconds, continue breathing, and then step back. Now a modification of the stretch is to bend the knee on the leg that you're stretching. Starting with your toes and ball of your foot on the towel with your left foot alongside. Now bend your right knee. Bend it as far as you feel you can go based on how tight your ankle and your calf muscles are. For me, this is about as far as I can bend my right knee. And I feel the stretch in the lower part of my calf and into my heel. I feel the stretch right through this area. With your knee bent, continue to breathe and hold the position for 10 seconds. Straighten your legs, step out of the stretch, shake it out and repeat. Perform three repetitions with the leg straight and three repetitions with your knee bent. Okay, now let's move on to strengthening exercises. The first one is an alphabet. Sitting comfortably with your feet dangling if possible. Okay, so starting with a capital A, we'll trace that in the air with our foot. And then moving on to B. Make each letter as large as possible. Then C and D. Now it's normal for your knee to move a little bit with this exercise, that's fine. But try to make all of the motion come from the ankle and the foot. Continue working your way through the alphabet from A to Z. One time. The next exercise is a towel scrunch. Using a hand towel or a washcloth, sitting on the floor or on a chair, either way works fine. Place the towel on the ground, nice and open, flat. Now put your foot on the edge of the towel, curl your toes under, and try to scrunch and pull the towel towards you. Now typically this works best with bare feet and with the towel on a slick surface, hardwood, tile, something that it will move easily. You'll notice with my socks and the towel on uh, this cloth, I'm not able to move the towel very much. I'm still getting benefit from the exercise, but it feels more validating and encouraging if you can see that towel actually move underneath your foot. Curl your toes under 20 times. Rest, shake your toes out, and then perform another 20 repetitions. So two sets of 20 total. The next exercise is a ball or pillow squeeze. Using a small ball or rolling the towel up into a ball, place that item right between your feet. And now either sitting comfortably on a chair or sitting on, the, on a surface like I am, have your knees bent about hip distance apart, and now squeeze the ball, bringing your feet together. Hold for a count of five while you're breathing naturally, and then release the squeeze. Again, squeeze the ball together, turning your foot inward toward the ball. Be sure that you're using your feet for this exercise and not your knees. There's a tendency to wanna do this with your knees. Keep your knees about hips distance apart, and just move your feet inward, squeezing the ball with your feet. Keeping your knees about hips distance apart, squeeze the ball with your feet, 
bringing your toes and the ball of your foot and the arch together. So that your toes are coming toward each other, your heels are staying in the same position, and your knees are staying in the same position. Hold the squeeze for five seconds and then release. Start the movement on an exhale. So as you exhale, squeeze your toes, ball of your foot, and arch inward. And then release. Perform 10 repetitions. Okay, the last two things we'll do are standing posture and standing balance. Ideally, if you have a full length mirror, that would be perfect for the standing posture exercise. If you don't, you can also do this just looking down at your feet. Stand with tall posture, your chest lifted, shoulder blades down and back, a little bit of a chin tuck. Have your feet about hips distance apart, toes pointed straight forward, if that feels comfortable for you. Now just standing naturally, look into the mirror or look down and notice the arch in your foot and notice the position of your ankles. Can you tell if your ankles are rolled in or if your ankles are rolled out? If you feel most of the weight of your foot on the inside of the foot or on the outside of the foot, that gives you some information about what's going on with your feet. Now the exercise part of this is to form a tripod underneath your foot for equal weight bearing between the inside and the outside of the foot and the front and the back. If you can imagine your foot as a tripod with equal weight underneath the first knuckle on the ball of your foot, the fifth knuckle at the ball of the foot, and the heel. So it makes a triangle. Now, standing again with your feet about hips distance apart, see if you can feel how much weight you're bearing under each of those three points of your tripod. Are they even? Do you have equal weight between the first and the fifth knuckle at the ball of your foot and the heel? Or are you leaning more towards the inside or outside? Now, if you're leaning toward the inside, using the muscles at the outer part of your hip, see if you can pull your arch up separate your knees and lift your foot so that you have more weight underneath the fifth knuckle, making the weight between the inside and the outside of your feet even. This takes a little bit of practice. Try this for a couple of minutes and notice what it feels like when you vary the weight between the inside of your foot and the outside of your foot. Ideally for the best balance and for the least amount of stress in your foot, you wanna have equal weight between the inside and the outside of your foot. The last exercise is single leg balance, starting with your eyes open and then progressing to your eyes closed. Start by standing next to a countertop for support with tall posture and shift your weight to your right foot. Lift your left foot slightly off the ground and then tap your fingers, lift your fingers if you can. Try to balance for 10 seconds, standing on one foot, and then switch legs. Shift your weight to the left leg, lift your right foot a little bit off the ground, and tapping your hand on the countertop as you need to, hold for 10 seconds. And then lower your right foot down. Continue alternating single leg balance on the left and right legs three times. I hope you found this information helpful and these exercises beneficial for decreasing pain and getting you back on your feet. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. I've also posted a number of other videos that might be helpful for you, addressing related conditions such as plantar fasciitis, heel pain, and Achilles tendonitis. Check out the links in the description below for those videos. Here's to your healing, health, and happiness. Have a fantastic day.